Welcome to the captivating world of The White Shadow, a television series that left an indelible mark on viewers when it first aired in 1978. Have you ever wondered about the first time you tuned into this iconic show? Or perhaps, which classic Hollywood actor among the stellar cast became your favorite? Before we delve into the intriguing world of this series, let's take a moment to reflect. When was the first time you watched The White Shadow? Can you recall the characters that resonated with you, or the moments that kept you glued to the screen? And speaking of characters, did a particular classic Hollywood actor stand out for you? Now, let's set the stage for some random facts about The White Shadow. Created by Bruce Paltrow, this series followed Ken Reeves, a former professional basketball player turned high school basketball coach. The show masterfully tackled societal issues and the complexities of adolescence, making it both entertaining and thought-provoking. As we venture into the heart of this classic series, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to The White Shadow. Did the show inspire you in some way, or do you have a memorable episode that stuck with you through the years? We would love to hear your stories and reflections in the comments below. Get ready for a trip down memory lane, and let's celebrate the enduring legacy of The White Shadow. Share your thoughts, and let the conversation begin. Byron Stewart landed the role of Warren Coolidge in The White Shadow after Ken Howard spotted him in the movie Fire Sale. Standing at 68 tall, Stewart was chosen by Howard to add height diversity to the Carver team. This casting decision reflected Howard's desire to have at least one player taller than himself on the show. Stewart's entry into the cast was swift, with Howard immediately reaching out to Bruce Paltrow to secure his inclusion. The series also gained attention for a unique broadcast event during the original telecast of the first half of season two seconds episode The Death of Me Yet. This episode was shown with no commercial interruptions, building suspense until the pivotal moment when Curtis Jackson met his demise. The decision to air the episode without breaks added to the impact of the storyline, emphasizing the gravity of the character's fate. In contrast, one aspect left unexplored in The White Shadow was the absence of a revealed nickname and mascot for the Carver High Athletics teams. Throughout the series, this detail remained undisclosed, adding a layer of mystery to the school's sports identity. These behind-the-scenes insights into casting decisions and episode broadcasts offer a glimpse into the thought process and creative choices that shaped the white shadow. While the show may have left certain elements unexplored, it successfully captured the audience's attention with its unique narrative and unconventional broadcasting approach. After leaving Carver High, the characters from The White Shadow took diverse paths in life. Jackson, tragically shot and killed during a liquor store robbery, never got the chance to graduate. Interestingly, executive producer Bruce Paltrow initially considered a different fate for Jackson meeting his end while committing the robbery. Ken Howard, who played the iconic role of Coach Reeves, drew inspiration from his own high school basketball experience, earning the nickname The White Shadow as the sole white starter on Manhasset High School's team. The show's Carver team colors, orange and blue, mirrored those of Howard's alma mater. Post Carver life saw Goldstein joining the Marines, Hayward pursuing pre-law in college, Gomez embracing a career in mechanics and marriage, and Reese driving cabs while aspiring to be a singer. Coolidge, portrayed by Byron Stewart, moved to Boston, working as an orderly at St. Elegious Hospital. These varied post-carver journeys provide a deeper understanding of the characters' lives beyond the basketball court. The series, born out of real-life experiences and thoughtful character arcs, captivated audiences with its unique narrative and unconventional approach to broadcasting. The White Shadow, with its roots in Ken Howard's personal basketball history, transcended the typical sports drama, leaving an indelible mark on television history. In 1980, the U.S. Parent Teacher Association hailed The White Shadow as one of the best primetime TV programs for family viewing during the autumn of 1979. This recognition underscored the show's widespread appeal and impact on audiences. Beyond the basketball court, the series delved into the lives of its characters, offering a unique blend of drama and relatable storytelling. As Coach Reeves guided his team at Carver High, the roots of the show extended beyond the screen. Coach Reeves himself, played by Ken Howard, had ties to Boston College, where he crossed paths with Principal Willis, a fellow basketball teammate. 
This real-world connection added authenticity to the on-screen camaraderie. Amid the gripping narratives, one distinctive element of the white shadow was Salami's car, a 1963 Oldsmobile Cutlass convertible. This seemingly minor detail reflected the attention to character nuances and the era's cultural backdrop. The choice of Salami's ride contributed to the show's overall authenticity and attention to detail. The white shadow, with its accolades and meticulous storytelling, stood out in the television landscape of its time. It seamlessly blended family-friendly content with compelling narratives, making it a memorable part of 1970s television history. Nathan Cook, the oldest among the actors playing Carver players in the 1978 TV series The White Shadow, was just seven years younger than Ken Howard when the show debuted. This age dynamic added an interesting layer to the casting, reflecting the diverse backgrounds of the characters. Cook's portrayal of an older high school athlete brought authenticity to the team, showcasing the range of experiences within the Carver squad. Beyond the screen, The White Shadow had a surprising impact on the global sports landscape. The series played a role in popularizing basketball in Turkey, where reruns gained immense popularity. The show's influence reached far beyond its original airings, contributing to the global appeal of basketball as a sport. In the realm of on-court action, there were two instances where Coach Reeves, portrayed by Ken Howard, executed a dunk. What makes these moments intriguing is the behind-the-scenes revelation that an off-camera ramp was used for these impressive feats. This creative decision added a cinematic touch to the pilot episode and season one second won a bet, creating memorable highlights in the series. As the characters navigated their post-Carver lives, the actors' ages, and the international impact of the show underscored the White Shadow's significance. The choice to cast actors with a notable age range and the unexpected influence on Turkish basketball showcased the series' broader cultural impact. These lesser-known facts offer a fresh perspective on the White Shadow, emphasizing the show's reach and its impact both on and off the screen. The unique blend of character dynamics, global influence, and on-set creativity contributed to the enduring legacy of this 1978 TV series. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of the White Shadow, let's take a moment to reflect on the profound impact this 1978 TV series has had on each of us. Like threads woven into the fabric of our memories, the White Shadow has left an indelible mark, a testament to the power of storytelling. As we navigate through the corridors of Carver High School with Coach Ken Reeves and his diverse team of basketball prodigies, we can't help but marvel at the timeless themes of camaraderie, resilience, and the pursuit of dreams. The White Shadow transcends its era, offering a pointed snapshot of the human experience that resonates across generations. Now, it's your turn to share. What moments from the White Shadow have etched themselves into the canvas of your recollections? Was it a particular character's journey that struck a chord, or perhaps a pivotal game that had you on the edge of your seat? Your thoughts are the mortar that builds the monument of our collective appreciation for this iconic series. Reach out, connect, and let the echoes of the White Shadow reverberate through the corridors of our discussions. Your memories are the vibrant strokes that paint the portrait of a show that has stood the test of time. Thank you for embarking on this nostalgic journey with us. Your time and reflections are treasures that enrich the legacy of the White Shadow. Until our next rendezvous with cherished memories.